This is the phone call I'm expecting from you, Cujo. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna drunk down me and you're gonna be like, Chris. Chris. <laughs> Chris. I I know we fight a lot. <laughs> and I know we goof around a lot when we record. But actually, I really don't like you. <laughs> You're kind of an asshole. Welcome back, everybody. Hey! We're playing more Dropsy. This is Game Devs Play Games, in case by the you way. In case you were unable. You know, I, I watch a lot of YouTube stuff, like YouTube experts, experts talking about like good things to do. That wine is still hitting you, huh? No, it's not. <laughs> I just, you know that I'm bad at talking. Experts. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm a horrible person. Continue. But good practice is to always have like a good welcome to your, your video, right? Oh, that's true. Um, oh, this is something that I've been meaning to talk about. So I, there may be more changes happening to game devs play games than just having a face cam. Um, whether or not we're actually still using it. I don't know. We talked about it in episode one. Maybe there's been no face cam this whole time and you had no clue. Um, <laughs> Even though we've been talking about it on and off for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it, it could be a lot of things, right? But um, we're also going to be experimenting with removing that little, like, intro uh, video that we've been playing. Um, oh, the... Yeah. That little animated... Yeah. I mean, I don't hate it, but at the same time, I don't know if it's driving other people crazy, because nobody tells me. So if you like it, like, let me know. I plan on updating it anyway. I want to get some, some new music for it and, and some, some new, better uh, animations. New pictures. And a... I just want to remove Kujo's face from it entirely. <laughs> um... <laughs> Wait, does that mean that for this face cam thing, there's like the weird, like distorted, pixelated bubble? And my voice sounds like this. <laughs> I could do that. I learned how to do stuff <laughs> like that in, in Premiere Pro finally. Ready? All right, fine. This is your test. Three, two, one, bam. All right. I'm not. I'm, in the crazy I'm not. Bubble. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to do it. No, it's too late. It's already, too much no, work because now you're lying to the people. I, I said I could do it. I didn't say I would do it. <laughs> it's, it's totally different. You're putting words in my mouth, man. So Instead I, of just a dick on my face. <laughs> I would actually do that if we wouldn't get a YouTube strike for that. That's true. Don't regret anything. Oh, we're getting a photo! Oh, great. Does that Yippee. save my dad? No? Oh, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> In due time, man. In due oh, time. It's a key. Oh, it's for key card. Now we can get to new places. Sheesh. This guy. <laughs> just, I all because I, I wasn't quite paying attention to the whole thing. All I saw was her taking out a camera and taking a picture. And I remember her being like the weird space, space time, whatever his name is, uh, being like, "You should go talk to her." So for her to just randomly pull out a camera, and take a picture, I'm like, "Is that the cure? Is that the cure for the sickness of my dad? Really? No? <laughs> I was oh, told to talk to you, and this is what you gave me. Great." You are a quality employer, sir. Oh, I just Never realized. Never mind the fact you just stepped on my chick. Oh, did he? What an asshole. I, I realized, so in my personal playthrough, I never came back to this room, but you can see this shiny thing in that corner. We can't get it now while he's in here, but I bet we can come back and we can pick it up. Ah, we're already finding new really stuff. need to put you to work. Oh, no. I will I'll give you money, you money, which to... will save your dad. Yep. That's. Oh no. I will this give you medicine get, for this your is dad. Get dark, isn't it? The children love you, Dropsy. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, Dropsy, you're so gullible. Will you work with me? Do we have an agreement? Do we have an accord? Yeah. That's Dropsy's form of a handshake, and I love it. Oh. I love cow. Thank you, Dropsy. No, that was a smile. It was a smiley face that represents happiness. That you and your that. animals go to the circus. My circus, the super circus. <laughs> super circus, spelled with S's everywhere. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, later, bitches. <laughs> Bye, fembot. <gasps> Wait! What? How could I forget? 
Oh my god. Oh. This is actually really helping, having the ice pack behind my neck. Oh. <laughs> error, error, error. <laughs> cannot, <laughs> cannot compute, hug. Also, now that we're friends, wait, are we friends? I don't know if you're happy. You seem kind of gloomy still. Oh. oh. Now you're happy. Everybody gets happy after a hug. Even those guys in the video. <laughs> they just eat the medicine Ew. ice cream sandwiches. Watch the ice cream grow on the top of their head. <laughs> Ugh. So what happened? So okay, okay. We should at least talk a little bit about game design. I feel like it's been a couple of episodes since we've had real talk. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, go for it. So what haven't we talked about yet? Have we talked about the pixel art? So we've talked about the color and how that actually is we've really interesting. We've talked about the color. We've talked about the art style. I am. I remain convinced that this is taking place in like an 80s version of the future. I mean, even looking at the security is, guards, is that, that the, kind of feels that way too. Fashion, if you look at what's, you know, uh, what some of the like items that you pick up are, the fact that there are cassette tapes. Yeah, okay. I. It's weird because I think you're right, but yet there's technology in this world that legitimately wouldn't make sense in like... Well, no, maybe not. I don't know. Well, remember, this is the... If this is the 80... Oh my god. The plumber crack? Really? <laughs> if, if this is supposed to be the 80s version of the future, yes, there is going to be technology that's totally, like, it, it's illogical, it doesn't make sense. There's no No, real... that's that's fair. I think you are right, Cujo. I, 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 think, I think you figured it out. Yeah. You cracked the code. Yep. I'd like my million dollars now, please. Thank you. I would happily give you a million dollars. Mail it to... <laughs> I'd happily give you a million dollars if I had it. Just... You, what? What if you do, what if you only had one million dollars? I'd ask you if I could at least keep one of those dollars so I could buy a gumball or something. Oh, no. <laughs> we'd split it. Well, okay. Here's the thing. No, let's not talk about money. No one wants to hear that. <laughs> Tune into Game Devs Play Games where we talk about money. <laughs> game, yeah. Game Devs Play Finance. Dollar sign eyes. <laughs> You're just giving me all the editing yeah. work. Now that we have a face cam. Yep. Just because we have it's, a face cam doesn't give what you free reign. It's your fault. Oh, cool. It was kind of my fault. It was my idea. But if people want to see us, I want... Piggy, 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 piggy. I want people to like Cujo, because without the face cam, let's be real, we don't really know if we like... It. Oh my gosh. <laughs> also, so in the game, Come at if you haven't scrub, noticed... Lord, I'm ripped. So stop weird. quoting the game prompts. <laughs> so basically, he's testing out what each of our animals can do. So he's like, okay. Oh, cool. Like, Aww. see what the little birdie can do. See what the little mousey can do. See what the puppy in you can do. Now let's get ready for the final act. So this is a new circus. This isn't like a weird, like, yeah, it's Tarantino quite... at the beginning of the game. <laughs> well, let's go back. So he's saying, go home, get some sleep, and come back in the morning. So, but yes, the, quite literally, this is a circus that is under construction. He's trying to build this circus. Oh, and outside, there's a present for us. Is it my dad's health? It's uh, our dad's corpse, actually. <laughs> it just falls flat on the ground. We're close enough. Uh, that's a, a horrifying car. Car? Did it just enable fast travel? Hell yeah, buddy! Oh, huh, I was actually going to talk about that earlier. That's actually why I didn't do a lot of the side quests right away. Um, because I was like, we're going to get a car. It's, it's just going to lay something by its car. Aww. <laughs> oh, yeah. It doesn't. It, it, we have to, oh, you have to continue. Click? Oh. But I, I love it, right? Yeah. Isn't it great? I like it. Um, so the cassettes will change what music plays during that. Interesting. That's what the cassettes do. Huh. Along with like... <laughs> so it's really disturbing if you have a death metal playing and you're like this happy little clown. Yeah. Oh, it happens and it's amazing. <laughs> Stay you. I love you. Stay tuned. So notice the no vampire sign. Oh. So if you were to put on the vampire mask... Oh, you have to present the holy symbol. 
So there is a group of very religious people beyond this point, and she'll let us through because we're not a vampire. But now you know, the oh. vampire mask has to be used beyond this point. Makes sense, Interesting, right? Interesting, yeah. So Verve. it's pretty clear that this there's some sort of like religious cult around this. Oh, I guess I can't do anything with it. Around this like. Pickaxe. <laughs> My name is Snake. So, okay, I this... need you to help me find Metal Gear. <laughs> I'll give you a pearl necklace and a diamond ring. Have you seen Metal Gear? I'm quite proud of my David Hayter voice. No, actually, that was pretty good. I was impressed, too, to be totally honest. That's a cassette tape. So I feel like I should be able to give him cassette tapes, right? Because he talks about, like, footage. No, you don't understand. I'm Solid Snake. The cassette yes. tapes are used in Metal Gear Solid V Phantom Pain. <laughs> you should go back in time. Give it to that snake. When that game came out, there was seriously, like, a huge surge of YouTube players. Yep. <gasps> Oh. Well, think about it though. That's Hideo Kojima's last iteration from Metal Gear Solid. Oh, what that's where that was. Oh, yes. I'm finding new things finally. Sorry, I got excited. No, it's cool. I didn't realize there was a hole in that crate before, so now I finally know what to do Excellent with it. Axel Hose! <laughs> that's what that statue reminded me of. Axel Hose! <laughs> Are you talking about. Yeah. Yep. Wow. The Torchbearer puppet. Your, your nerd is showing. Oh, please. So, okay, outside We've of... talked about gaming and all that shit before. No, that's true. So, this boat will take us places. That... Wait. A boat that's a mode of transportation? You lie. But it's broken, so... Oh, we need to sail. Well. Poop. <laughs> but, uh, Looks like the quest for sale continues. We've, we've talked in the past, though, about how we play a lot of, like, role-playing games outside of work. Or outside of this. I guess this is still work. Um, but uh, Axel Hose was quite literally a, a puppet that someone used, one of the players used to cover up their decapitated hand. Yep. Uh, and the puppet got a second vote whenever uh, it came time for a party vote. It's it's stupid, but it's hilarious. Uh, but anyway, game design. Yeah. Which is funny, because we're at the end of the episode. Are we really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. We actually made a, a pretty decent chunk of progress this episode. Yeah, we really did. Um, here's something else that I haven't quite... Is this like a religion of rock? Kind of, yeah. Isn't it awesome? That's crazy. They love this, like, Thor-esque figure yeah. with a, a pickaxe, and they hate vampires. Vampires are the villains we, in their religion. I wonder if this is, like, a, a big ol' uh, message to the Lost Boys. I don't know. I do know, though, that there's a lot of missing pages in this book, and we only have, like, two. I have no oh. idea where they all are, but there's a lot of missing pages. Interesting. Yeah, so, I mean, if if it gets super crazy and we, we want to find a bunch of them, then we'll just, like, get them off camera, and we'll show you what happens, but... All right. But that is to be determined. Aww. Oh, there's one other thing. Wow. Having get... the stained glass effect for those windows is fantastic. Right? Don't you love that? That's They're... really cool. Okay, so I guess not game design, but art-wise, they use parallax scrolling in this game a lot, but it's mm -hmm. awesome. Awesome! I've seen so many games that try to use parallax scrolling, and it makes you feel like vomiting because yep. it doesn't move at the right pace. Um, because the background shouldn't... In, in real life, backgrounds don't move faster than the foreground. That doesn't make sense. Right. Um, and so this does it in a way that, like, feels natural. Yeah. You can see that these clouds basically stay in position. The camera's following you as the player, so it, it still changes a lot. It, it's just, it's awesome. Yeah. I do agree. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's the end of the episode. That it is. But anyway, we will see you in the next episode. Bye. So what do you legitimately think about Dropsy so far? It's good. It just, it, it feels, um, it's got a really weird way of approaching Actually, um, let's story. save this for... Okay. <laughs>